So we've got an inclined plane and a couple of weights and a pulley. Uh, let's just cut to the chase. We know that uh, that five kilograms is gonna make that go down, but let's look at our forces. To look at the, the three kilo force acting down the plane, we just wanna drill in and forget about that five kilos over there. And we just wanna think about our triangle of forces right here. The thing that we start with is our weight because we can't change that. So that force going down is going to be 3G. We've got a normal coming off the plane. So I'm going to pick it up and place it there. So that's actually our normal with that is a right angle. And what we're interested in is this component of force acting down the plane. If that's 30, then that's 30. So to look at that force down the plane, that force is going to be uh, da, 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 3G. We're going to use sine, sine 30, because it's just a right angle triangle. So I guess we, we don't sort of need that anymore. But what we know is we've got a force acting down the plane of 3G sine 30. We've got a force over here with the five kilos acting down at 5G. Clearly somewhere in the question, and I don't know why I'm writing in red, we're gonna use F equals. MA, just to justify where these things are coming from. Okay. And now, just like in Atwood's machine, let's just think about my three kilo particle and my five kilo particle on a smooth, flat plane. I've got 5G Newtons acting to the right and I've got 3G sine 30 Newtons acting to the left. Uh, sine 30 is a half, so it's 3G on two. So clearly 5G is bigger. Uh, what's 5G minus 3G on two? Then we want a two there, so it's going to be a 10. 10 minus three is seven G on two. You physics people don't need to do that. You're just going to use your calculator and just use 9.8 in maths land. We, we, this could be a, a calculator free thing. So we've got our net force acting to the right of seven G on two. And remembering with that net force is acting on the whole the system as a whole they are connected particles our mass is eight kilograms uh, let's just check what are we finding we're finding the acceleration okay so F equals M a that is our net force so 7 G on 2 and our mass is 8a. So again, if you're physics, you've just used your calculator. In uh, maths, we're going to not use that calculator and leave it in terms of g. And that acceleration will be meters per second per second. Okay, when you boil it down, we're just doing the same thing in slightly different situations. And if we keep it simple, uh, we have half a chance of getting it right.